Hi guys, so this video was requested to have some tips for first year and I don't know if I have made a video like this, but I'll just try it now. Um, so on the studying front, I think the most important thing for you to do is to just find what method works for you because your second year is probably going to be more important and you want to just get down the basics of what method works best for you in terms of studying. Um, some things to consider are whether you work in better in study groups or if you work better studying alone. And that for me personally, I think I like a combo. I like to study most of the things on my own and then maybe get together with like one person and then just like quiz each other on random things. And then you realize, oh shoot, I didn't know this material as well as I thought or they like a friend will help me remember something that I just didn't know before or yeah, or help me remember. And then I'll go back and study it. And it kind of helps you realize what you're missing. So that's one thing to figure out, whether you're a group learner or a solo learner. Another thing to figure out is if um, you're a person who likes to watch the lectures online or a person who wants to watch the lectures in person, because a lot of med schools will allow you to watch the lectures online. And there are some people who do both, some people who do one. I'm the one of those people who just has to watch the lectures online. I like being able to speed up when I need to, slow down when I need to, and it's just better for me. And if I feel like I'm too tired, I can just pause, take a break, come back. It's just on my own pace, which I really like. Then you also have to figure out like what study, like what writing method you like. Some people like to type out their notes on like a Word document. Some people like to type out their notes on their PowerPoint. Um, for me personally, I use the iPad method where I have the notes on this app called Notability and it'll just take the PowerPoint and I'll just write on it using a stylus and then they're uploaded to Google Drive and I really like that just because I have all my notes in one spot and I can go back to them later and it's colored and the printing we have at our school isn't colored printing and I really like the color and then there are also people who just print out the things, don't care about the color and then just write on those notes. So figure out which option is most appealing to you, just try it out. Um, then figure out if maybe you need to do an additional thing to your studying. So I'm trying out where I'll make like a summary of my notes. So like if I, I'll take a lecture and take down the most important things and just have like a little compressed sheet of what I should really, really get down. And I think that that's helpful. Um, it's not always the most time efficient because I've already wrote these notes and now I'm trying to write another pair, but I think if you can do it, that's super helpful. So I think that's something to consider. And then um, I really like the flashcard app that I've been using, Anki, and if you want to try using that your first year and get accustomed to it, it could be helpful. Um, I don't know, it depends on how much high yield material you learn during your first year, but I think it could be helpful for you to retain certain information. Um, I think practice questions are very helpful. Anytime you can get practice questions, just do them. Use them, use them, use them. Um, you're not gonna really know what you're missing unless you take like a test and figure out, oh, I didn't know that answer, let me look it up. Or and then also just the explanations of answers can be really helpful. Because sometimes if I'm in a rush, I will just look at the explanation of the answers before even like trying to answer the question myself and then I just learn from the explanations. And then I think it's also helpful to use external resources. So um, there's this series called BRS Board Review Series and I think it's really helpful. I used it for anatomy, um, any class that they use it for. This apparently for a second year you should really use BRS Physio. So when you have to do the phys stuff, um, for what's it called? Step. Yeah, how could I forget that? Step. Um, that's a really good book. Um, if you have to do microbio, microbio your first year, um, clinical microbiology made ridiculously simple is really good. And obviously, like, don't buy these books or spend money if you don't want to. I'm not like advertising anything, I'm just telling you the stuff that I have. Um, this is just a flat out question book. And everyone's like really into Robins here. I don't know if that's at every school, but this is just basically a question book that corresponds to the Robins textbook, and that might be helpful. Um, if you guys have to use 
what is it? There's a big more book for anatomy. This was like a condensed version, essential clinical anatomy, and that might be easier to read because the more books like this thick. Um, Netter apparently is like huge for anatomy. I actually didn't like it. It's just a bunch of like diagrams and I'm not that big of a fan. So obviously I took anatomy my first year. I don't, I think that's how it'd be everywhere, but I'm not entirely sure. But that was super helpful. I had to take neuroanatomy my first year, so I used BRS neuroanatomy. Lots of diagrams. It's just very condensed and like, you, this is the stuff you need to know. And it just, it also has questions, which is really helpful. And then the holy grail that you're gonna need your second year for when you're studying for step. I think just having this around is helpful your first year. You might not get to all of it, but you can see like, oh, this stuff's important that I'm learning or no, this stuff is worthless. I'm just going to ignore it. Don't ignore it, but you know, it's just like helps you focus on what you really, really need to know. So I think I also have PDFs. I think PDFs are really helpful too of random textbooks because then you can command search all that stuff. So in terms of studying, use your having some extra textbooks as references are really good because for me, I like to learn information from multiple sources and I feel like that really compounds the information in my head. So I really like that. And then outside of studying, I think you really need to learn to manage your time super well for first year because you get pounded with so much information in so little time. I think we just had a, an exam and we learned 72 lectures in five weeks. And to think I had to learn all that in such little time was very scary. Um, I don't know how that honestly happens. I really don't, but you're gonna need to learn to manage your time well. So you have to learn to be efficient. Don't just like, when you're studying, actually focus. Don't go on the internet to like, don't get distracted. I basically am trying to stay off of social media. YouTube's like basically my main social media at this point. I don't wanna go on Facebook or Instagram, all those things, cause I just get so distracted. So be efficient. Um, I also wanna remind you guys to have a social life too. I'm saying you guys should manage your time well, but it is healthy to just have some friends, to go out, hang out, um, take care of your livers, but a lot of people here like to, you know, drink with friends. Um, do whatever makes you happy. I just liked, I just had a potluck with my friends and I loved that. We just made some food, hung out, and it's just very therapeutic. And you know, we need it, we're humans. We need to interact with people. So do the things that you love too, because everything's gonna get nuts and you have to get through it and the thing you just got to do what you love so hang out with your friends work out if you need to work out actually not if you need to you have to work out regardless so work out eat right take care of your body make sure to sleep just try and sleep you might feel like you can't sleep but you can um, take care of your body what else yeah just know that you'll get through it um, there are people before you that got through the first year of med school and so will you if I can do it you guys can all do it so those are my tips for first year. Um, hopefully this video was a lot louder because I know there's been a concern that my videos aren't that loud, but I'm working on it. I was basically talking really loud during this video. So if this isn't working, I have to try a different method of filming my videos. But I hope you guys like this and yeah, until next time guys.